Hello everyone, how are you all doing? A quick video here uh, explaining how to uh, get different Twitch streams running inside OBS so you can compose it. So imagine you're playing, I don't know, Fortnite uh, as, as a squad, as a four-member squad, and you want to do a stream where you capture each stream from uh, the different players and you put them all on the same thing. Uh, this would be hard to do. I actually made a video previously how to connect several different RTMP streams uh, together. Um, you can do that using a, an uh, Nginx uh, local server and have people stream to you. But it's much user-friendly if you can just composite everything together inside OBS. So I looked into how you can do this and apparently you can do this using the VLC uh, media player inside OBS and I didn't have that by default on my OBS uh, and I tried to figure out why and I managed to understand why so you pretty much need to go to uh, VLC uh, download and here on download you have to make sure that you are downloading the Windows 64 bit version uh, instead of the 32-bit version. So if you're, you're running OBS on 64-bit and you have VLC also 64-bit, uh, uh, when you launch OBS, you will automatically have that thing here. I will show you my OBS. If you right-click on Add, you will have this link here, VLC Video Source, uh, which is very handy to have. You already had the media source before, which you could play, put an image, play a video, something like that. Sometimes it uh, screwed up. Most of the times it worked okay, especially for short loop videos. Uh, VLC Video Source sends all that stuff to VLC directly. VLC is much more robust, so we should be able to handle stuff. And if you just put an, uh, a Twitch link to VLC Video Source, it automatically just plays it, which is awesome for what we want. So I'm gonna show you how to do one. I'm gonna create a new one. And here on the plus, you can add path or URL. I'm going to paste something. Let me look something up real quick. This is playing Hearthstone. Sure, why not? There we go. I'm adding these. And here we go. Bombs. Uh, an overlay. You can resize it. You can put it wherever you he want. Never hit my I'm going to still show you my defensive. OBS. So I'm going to put this, I don't know, here. Did not play around Pyroblast. Kek W. You should always play around Imagine every if you're like game commentating uh, by, huh? something that someone is doing. Like, for example, I could be having T's uh, thing here and I could be commentating on what the hell he's <laughs> doing. And you can also hear uh, his not input. And you can control that here directly. I just muted it now, for example, and uh, it's very handy. And you don't have to only have one. You can add multiple ones. I'm going to add another one. Uh, let's see what other stuff is being broadcast right now. There's this Portuguese rapper guy. Why not? Let's show you Portuguese rapper guy. He's doing also a stream. Bam. There we go. Now we have two streams going to different. I want to resize this one. Can be a bit of a mess to control them all. I'm also going to mute this one. I've already heard that the sound works. So you can have multiple stuff happening on the same window and compose it everything uh, properly. Obviously, I'm going to hide some stuff uh, like uh, the background and OBS. Okay. So here I could uh, compose this a bit better and, uh, you know, have three videos next to each other or just one and with my overlay on top of it, whatever you want. Anyways, this was just a quick video to show you guys how to uh, put different uh, Twitch streams on OBS real quick. The main thing you need to be aware of is that you need... Uh, 64-bit version of both OBS and VLC. It's only for Windows. I'm not sure how it works on Mac. Uh, should still be possible, though, because both VLC and OBS uh, work on Mac. So, uh, not sure. Have to Would have to test. Uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Uh, that's, all for, that's all that I have for you guys. Bye-bye. See you next time. Take care.